morning, selamat pagi semua. Ya, yeah. uh, very good morning to Timbalan Jakarta Academic, Dr. Beatrice Lim, uh, Dr. Rini Suryati, Timbalan Jakarta PNI. Uh, there you are. <laughs> okay, and of course, uh, Dr. Andy, uh, thank you for making all the arrangement for us to be here. Yeah, uh, we are from uh, Pusat E Pembelajaran, and with us here is I'm Fong, by the way. Okay. And Dr. Kenneth is our timbalan la pengarah. Okay. Uh, we have Azul and Nora, our very important technical supporting team. Whenever you have a problem, uh, you go into the help desk. They are the frontline people to receive and to help you. And normally they will respond to you within 24 hours or the latest 48 hours. <laughs> okay. PEP, uh, Pusat E Pembelajaran, okay, is a service center. So, which means that our objective is actually to support our academic staff and our students to make sure that teaching and learning is enhanced. We want to improve the quality of teaching and learning with the use of technology and able learning. So that is our mission. So if there's any special request, you have to come and meet us or go to Dr. Andy or come and see us directly. Our doors are always open. We have now moved to uh, FKJ building, block B, level 5. It's the same level as uh, Big Data as well as Huawei. So, we are, the door, no lock, is always open. <laughs> <laughs> so, please feel free to come, okay? Any ideas uh, that you feel need to be implemented in your faculty, inform us. Okay, we can coordinate. Hi, morning. So, uh, very briefly, uh, a few things. We are introducing Smart uh, version 3. Before this, we used uh, version 2, uh, 2.7. Now it's a 3.3 something. So, uh, why are we using uh, Smart uh, V3? This is built upon something called Moodle Learning Management System. Samoa, IPTA, all public universities in Malaysia are using this. So, that's one of the reasons why we are using this. Okay? We have mutual support from one another. Even more important, uh, Dr. Kenneth after us will elaborate more deeply on the security aspect. Your content, you know, is so valuable. I know many of you want to use Coology and Edmodo and uh, Google Classroom. Good, it's good. By all means, go ahead. But uh, please remember to keep your contents within our own uh, Smart V3. Because one day, when Edmodo and Schoology say, hey, you have to prescribe, you know, or subscribe and pay a certain amount of money, you say, sorry, no money, then your content are lost with them, okay? So, we respect to the security of your own content. Uh, it is good to consider, not, not con good to consider, uh, you must use, uh. it's for your own sake, actually. There's a reason why we are using things, okay? Please go on. Yeah. So, uh, we have a policy, and this policy is available uh, at our website. If you just type uh, PEP UMS, you'll come to our website, and there are actually many resources there, you know. So, our policy in UMS on the commitment of UMS to support the academic staff and the students are all listed over here. Okay, go on. We have an OER repository, and uh, we know, you know that there is another repository, ePring, under library, kan? So your published uh, articles, they are parked over there. But some of you may already be practicing something called open licensing of your materials. Uh, anybody who is practicing this, just put uh, up your hand. You have, you have put a CC, you know, Creative Common Licensing upon any of your material. No, no problem. So, uh, I will briefly just touch a little bit about it, okay? Uh, let me tell you how important is OER. It stands for o OER, huh? Open Educational Resources, okay? In November, on the 27th, just about two months ago, lah, okay? Our Ministry of Education at that time, okay, was in Paris, UNESCO, to endorse, UNESCO has endorsed OER across mainstream education. So, across the world, OER is coming in a strong way. All right? Uh, we, we knew it was coming. That's why UMS 
is prepared for this. Among all public industry, uh, Commonwealth of Learning came over to UMS and to help build up this repository. Ladies and gentlemen, the repository of OER or OCW in MIT America, the consultant now who built it there came to UMS, you know, to help us build this. So it's very robust. Okay, Professor Prasad. <laughs> okay, so these are prepared. And in your place, can you please move? Oh, no, it's just a shot. Huh? Okay, so your PEP, FPEP is also listed over here. It is uh, not populated, unpopulated. We need to populate it, and it's open for all of you. Any materials that you put there, any video, any articles, any notes, it will also appear in Google Scholar. And this is what we want. We want to increase the, your visibility of the talent of UMS. You want to increase your citation of your work. So go through here. Free, free. Okay? <laughs> okay. Uh, Dr. Keller will also show you some examples, okay, of how we put it and then uh, how it appear in Google Scholar. Okay, go on, please. Uh, Center for e learning, uh, strategic and action plan. So we, we have a lot of actually uh, action plans, you know, for UMS, uh, but we are short of manpower. So all of you, irrespective of age, irrespective of discipline. Kalau you are the passion hey, for the use of technology to enhance teaching and learning, or you have some special experience, you know, please come on board. We, we can form a sub-committee and we, we, we can uh, do a lot of work for UMS. Okay? We need people, especially the young people who just came back from overseas or from anywhere, you know, your, your passion for technology, please come on board and help to have a multiplier effect of your passion among many more people. Hmm? Please go on. Okay. Now, uh, this one is called uh, C Delta. Uh, it stands for Commonwealth Digital Education Leadership Training in Action. Uh, it is to highlight your digital identity and increase your global marketability. I will allow uh, Dr. Kenneth afterwards to share concerning this, okay? that uh, by 2030, would you believe it? You see, we are saying something of the future, you know. We are going to something to prepare ourselves, but even more, even more, our students, our graduates who are going out into the workforce to prepare them to become more marketable, to increase the graduate employability. So this is one cause, okay, uh, that we have, we work together with Commonwealth of Learning, okay, and the next Senate meeting, the concept paper for C Delta will be presented before the Senate, Dr. Beatrice. Okay. And you know what will happen? Students who enroll into this course, when they pass, uh, they will get a certificate. And the certificate will be either basic or intermediate or advanced. And the academic transcript will have uh, the grade there. So it's an international uh, certification, okay, concerning your competency with regard to this matter. Okay. So there are actually three modules for students and there are seven modules for lecturers. It will be open also to all of us. And from my understanding of top management, because they already heard about this, so they would like to introduce this to everybody. So probably we are also able to take it. Okay. Uh, Okay, so again, you see, uh, our Pusat E Pembelajaran, on one hand, we are helping to achieve the KPI according to the hasrat of our Kementerian Pendidikan. But more than that, uh, we are saying something to support our main key stakeholders, our students. Go on, please. Okay, and we have an e-book, another e-book, Learning with Technology, a Student Guide. So, the smart uh, V3 that you are getting familiar with, okay, the students have their own version over here and it's available free. Okay, it's a one-stop center. Anything to do with technology and labor learning from GTMK, from library, from PEP, is actually all here. Okay. Uh, again, where do you get all this? You just go to visit our PEP website, okay, that you can be downloaded. It's all free. Free here means it's all using a license called Creative Commons. 
And this is what we like to encourage all of you. Okay. Uh, eventually, you see, just now the repository, okay, uh, Zul, I'll just remember to open an uh, e-book, okay, uh, example. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, our book, your book, you normally will get it published, open up the e-book, Prof. Charles, for example, okay. So we go to Penerbit and get our book to be uh, published. But uh, sometimes, due to budget, they have a problem of uh, publishing your book, okay? So, if you intend to have your uh, book, okay, or thesis by your student, you want to co-work together, you know, as a co-author, uh, we can, PEP is also a publishing house. And it will come out as an e-book using open licensing, Creative Commons. You don't get money out of it. We have to tell you the fact, okay? It's available free to the world, to the world. So we hope that, you know, through this way, you can share your expertise and increase your citation. Okay. Are you able to see? Okay, example. Okay, now, example, this is an e-book, okay, by uh, Prof. Charles as well as uh, Dr. Kisnek. Okay, go on. This is the repository. So when you have an e-book, you know, it will be uh, deposited over here. And Google Scholar register all this. Please remember that. Dr. Beatrice, you, your faculty have got to uh, encourage more staff to come and deposit things over here, get the e-book published here, because uh, this is the place that we have the World outreach. <laughs> okay. And okay, just, just turn okay, just turn to hundred something page where some videos. Okay. So so there are video clips over here. It's multimedia, you know. So your ebook in whatever format that you feel fit for your own discipline, you prepare it and you pass it to us, go through reviewers like normal Penerbit UMS, okay? So, then you'll be asking, are you, how in the world can I produce a book like this? Ladies and gentlemen, this is PowerPoint. Okay? <laughs> and, okay, it's just, uh, you know, you, it's just that it's a standard layout, that's all. So, it looks professional, like a book already. Huh? So, you know, you have some notes or whatever, according to your discipline. But all are original. Original. So, people will start your work. Especially, you know, something to do with tourism in Sabah or whatever, you know, uh, food in Sabah. Now, here is what? PEP, yeah? <laughs> economy or whatever. Okay. Okay. All right. So, just to show to you that uh, it can be done very easily. Huh? Okay. Yes, please. Yeah, this one in the territory, so uh, can someone uh, just control it so that the contrast is better? Yeah. <coughs> yeah, thank you. Okay. Ah. Okay, so this uh, work uh, by Mary, Daria, and company uncovering the pool of Borneo. So what they did is that this team, they love photography. So they lab one, they took a lot of uh, important photograph and they compile it. They compile it. Go on. Yeah, they compile it. Just move it. It's your publication, okay? This publication the is the you know. Okay? So uh, know that you know there's another alternative other than Penerbit UMS. But we are not selling them, okay? Is available free to the world. Okay, your name will spread out to the world. But in case you want to make money out of it, of course you can. You print it and sell the printed copy. Okay, but ebook free. All right. Okay. Okay. So you know, in whatever area that you feel free. Let's go back. Let's go back. Okay, go back.
All right. Okay. So all these materials you can download now from uh, PEP Penda website. Okay. Okay. Let's move on. How many of us here have been involved in developing something called MOOC? Massive Open Online Courses? Okay, no problem. Because uh, this is one area, okay, where you have your materials already, okay, and you would like to make it into an online course. And this online course, you don't have to supervise it. The moment it's done, Okay, then we just uh, pack it in our platform and it's made available to the world again. Okay, so you don't be surprised your course, you know, there can be 10,000, 100,000 people coming to enroll. Okay, and of course, this is very good for academic. Um, we are using something called Mukit. Okay, and at the moment, at the moment, just started this week. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a course introducing you to you what is MOOC and how to use MOOCit. So uh, you just Google M-O-O-K-I-T. Okay? Just register. Whether you complete or don't complete is another story. But at the end of it, when you complete, you get a certificate. How important is this course? Uh, those of us who are interested or want to explore whether MOOC could be suitable for you or not, Please take this course. It's free. It's free again. Okay? And this is by Commonwealth of Learning. Commonwealth of Learning is one of the strategic partners of UMS. Okay? Uh -huh. Okay. Later on, uh, if time permit, Dr. Kenneth, Dr. Kenneth, uh, yeah, if time permit, Dr. Kenneth will show you a few more important things here later on. Okay, let's move on. Move on. Why are we using smart UMS? Why are we using this learning management system? Because we have a KPI under Kementerian to all public university, to all lecturers. All of us are involved. And there is something called to support the practice of Pembelajaran Teradun. Blended learning. That is a mixture of face-to-face -face and non-face-to-face -face interaction. Yes, this is where we are. Our students come into the campus and we have face-to-face -face lectures and tutorial with them. But we also all the time ask them, hey, please refer to many resources that are available online. Now, what if we bring the best of these two worlds together? It is something called we blend them together. Hence, blended learning. Okay, please move on. Blended learning is actually in line with the Malaysian Education Blueprint for Higher Education. And inside there, you know, we expect the outcome of our graduates, you know, that they are holistic, entrepreneurial, balanced graduate, talent excellence, lifelong learners, quality graduates. And how could this be realized? How could we have this kind of graduates coming out? 